Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive? This is what a miracle service is about. You are cultured by the word to know how to receive. You will see how easy it is for the power of God to touch you. Because once faith is there, now you understand what to do. You make the assignment easy for the Holy Spirit to reach you and give you testimonies. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you to bring all those under the anointing. will be very, very fast. Very fast. You are not shouting. You are not doing anything. The power of God is going to begin to move. Please let me have those people here. It's not a deliverance happening to them. There is a kind of impartation that God is bringing. And I want you to bring them out. I will pray deliverance shortly afterwards. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you're revealing this to me, I'm praying that everyone, I'm seeing like oil from a bottle just flowing on the ground. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must drink of that oil, that, that oil that sets you apart for some producing favor, for some rewriting your destiny, in the name of Jesus, please very quickly, let me have them out. Salimeneko savraskabalatu savratizilas. Enando savratzibelakusiata. Inside this auditorium, outside, everywhere, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing oil by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it rest on people right now. Let it flow to you. Let it flow to you. For someone is bringing ease to your life. You've gone through hardship. Hardship. This is what God is taking out of your life. This cause of hardship. This yoke of hardship. Cause of hardship. Yoke of hardship. The cause of hardship. There are families who have gone through this. In the name of Jesus, God is able to give men rest. I pray that this oil will flow to you right now. Outside, inside. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it flow. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will be surprised at the things that begin to happen to you. Some of you, even from this service, right now, before the service is done, miracles, miracles, supernatural manifestations of God's power. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing stones. I believe this represents altars. I want to pray now. I'm seeing stones. In the name of Jesus, if there be anyone under the sound of my voice, who is a victim of ancestry activities of darkness altars and yokes manifesting in your dreams stopping doors of favor cutting short the ministry of helpers you are going to shout the name jesus and let that fire rest upon you and consume every altar are you ready at the count of three one two three shout jesus I cause every altar. I cause every altar in the name of Jesus by the blood, by the blood of the eternal covenant, by the blood of the eternal covenant. I arrest every spirit tying down lives. I arrest every spirit tying down families. You give way now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing uh, the, the spirit of heaviness. There's a, there's a manifestation of that spirit in the Bible. Now you'll be given a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. I don't know who that is, but an anointing is coming upon you. That spirit of heaviness manifesting as depression, manifest as suicidal thoughts in the name of Jesus. Now I declare, let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken. Let it be broken now. The spirit of heaviness be loose from it right now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the vision of a gentleman and others are walking forward. But what I'm seeing in my vision is you are walking backward. This is what I'm seeing. Not that you are looking back. You are walking back while others are going forward. This is what I see. You know, let me tell you, backwardness is a curse. Because the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light. You can be backward in ministry, in crim uh, I mean progressive decline, if I will use that expression. That means there is no day 
that is ever better than the previous one no all your yesterdays are always better than your tomorrows i want to cause that spirit right now anyone here jesus the spirit of backwardness responsible for retrogression financial retrogression responsible for ministry responsible for the decline in families i decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hear me the lord is saying i should tell someone there is an explanation as to what killed your father there is an explanation as to what killed your mother there is an explanation as to what is killing the men in your family i decree and declare any programming from hell that after every season somebody must die as a sacrifice die by witchcraft or by accident i decree and declare right now let fire from heaven my god fall upon every altar every altar fueling death every altar fueling death every altar fueling death be destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Elande sabeleka parosa bradisheles. Grande bele sopradis kavira dusila capria gata baladus. Emeleno katafraska belege barados. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Do not let your good be evil spoken of. The Lord wants to minister to someone. There is nothing good you do that is perceived as good. It's like there is a covering cast on you. And people always misinterpret what you do. Always. Whether it's in the place of work, whether it's in the house of God, anything good you do, it is always misinterpreted. I pray for you. Every covering cast on anyone, misrepresenting you, making you look evil whereas you are good, making you look dishonest whereas you are honest. I tear that veil now. 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 now. Hallelujah. The Lord is speaking to me about someone. You are always afraid of good things because they never last. It's like there is a curse in your family. Nobody celebrates longevity of good things. If you rejoice over a job, death will come and cancel the story. If you rejoice over a child that is born, another tragedy always comes to cancel what God is doing. I want to pray for that person. Not everybody. But there's someone here and that anointing will come upon you as I pray. In the name of Jesus, whatever makes evil to outlive good, whatever makes the testimony of God's faithfulness to die prematurely over your family, I come by this anointing and I come by this mantle right now. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Did you bring a guitar? Please play the strings for me. Elato Savlia Kasha Brandigi Balato Skiata. You always return to your parents' homes after you marry. It's a spirit. Nobody stays successfully in marriage. It, something must happen. Either a quarrel with your spouse, either whatever it is, is a demonic enchantment. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for someone right now. Release your faith as I pray. There is a lady, I'm seeing you, you are from Edo State. This is what happens to your family. Nobody, either they get pregnant outside of wedlock, or even if they make it to marriage, it's only as if they just went for an excursion they return back you are from a state the power of god is touching you where is that lady if is there someone like that you are from a state this this is what happens to your family in the name that is above all names i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead where are you from a state yes sir. how many are you in your family we are six 
Six. Yes. Sir. Are they married? Yes, sir. My, my other sister have four children for four different men. Four children from yes, four sir. different men. Yes, sir. Something will just happen and they will send her back home. Something will happen and the men. Oh, she married four different men. Yes, sir. And had children and they sent her back yes, home. Sir. That's all right. That's okay. The Bible says even the lawful captives. Don't be too quick to condemn people, though. There are influences that move people, even the lawful captives. What God says to one, he says to all. I want to use this, my dear sister, as a point of contact. If there is any spirit that says you will not enjoy your home, that you will be there and be driven away like a fugitive in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, that yoke is hereby broken. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I don't know if it's you or your sister. You've had like three or four people die. Children. You give birth but they die. Either they come out a stillbirth or maybe some kind of premature experience. This is, this is children dying. If there's such a person, let me speak to you. Else we'll just continue. In the name that is above all names. It's a spirit. Either you give birth to a child and then the child dies. You see that? By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare. Whatever eats up children to make sure that you don't deliver. Look up. The Bible says, I saw a mystery in heaven. And that mystery was a woman who was pregnant with a man child. She was about to give birth. And he said a dragon came from nowhere and stood. Just waiting for her to give birth. So that she would eat the child. A child may mean a physical child. But a child may mean a vision. A child may mean anything that comes out of you. A product of your sacrifice and creativity. I pray for you. Every demonic thing waiting to eat up your sacrifice, your sweat. And even physical children. By the blood of the eternal covenant, that agreement is hereby cancelled. That agreement with hell is hereby cancelled. That agreement with hell is hereby cancelled. That agreement with hell is hereby cancelled. I'm hearing a name, I believe that should be the northern part of Nigeria, Godia. Godia, that's Thanksgiving in Hausa. Who has that name? Godia. There is somebody with that name. I want to pray for you. Please make sure if that is not your name, don't worry. You can stay where you are and receive. I'm hearing the name Godia. Then I'm hearing the name Ephraim. 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 Who is that person? Ephraim. The Lord is saying rebuke the spirit of death. Ephraim. I'm hearing that name. Rebuke the spirit of death. There is a plot to take that person by hell. Ephraim. In the name of Jesus. If that is your name, Please, if it's not your name, just sit back where you are. And I'm not a prophet of doom. When God reveals, it is because he wants to redeem. Ephraim, in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you. That no arrow will be fired into your body as mysterious sickness that the hospital cannot diagnose. And suddenly you wake up one morning and the man dies in the night. I pray for you. What's your name? I pray for you. What God says to one. You see, the thing about prophecy is not just about God isolating individuals at the mercy of others, at the um, expense of others. No. God only uses someone as a point of contact to announce many people's condition. Are we together now? So you receive by faith. Please, if you are not in the category that I called where house of order, make sure you stay back. Godia. Who is Godia? All of you? there is a woman here God wants to set you free you don't have to come out every time you take in a man comes to you in a dream to try to molest you and even while you are already once that happens you must lose the pregnancy it doesn't matter what happens you will find out you start seeing blood and that becomes the end of it I need to pray for you because it's a season you don't need to come out you are going to receive by faith this is something every time you get married it's like there is another husband and once that man shows up in the dream you must lose that child doesn't matter how many months of pregnancy you have 
it's a demonic programming the bible says casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ i'm still praying again i use this gentleman ephraim i'm speaking by the influence of the spirit every death the plague of death by the cause of sickness mysterious sickness that cannot be diagnosed in the hospital and someone just keeps emaciating until you die looking like maybe hiv or something in the name of jesus we cancel it now 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 i'm saying it by the anointing what killed your father will not kill you what killed your father will not kill you we speak life in the name of jesus go dear i want to pray for you is there someone with a name like asabe that looks like a muslim name huh your auntie where are you from i'm from kaduna no, i'm State. talking of somebody here well i will pray for you but asabe i'm going to pray for you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare i'm still hearing that name again asabe looks like a muslim name or well sometimes christians can can have it too please verify so we don't have people what is he coming out for your name is asabe huh your mom Okay, let him come. If, if it's his mom. Where is she? Meduguri. Plateau. Okay, no problem. You can come. When God reveals things like this, ladies and gentlemen, he's not wasting your time. And don't just focus on those who are in front. I'm saying it again. Prophecy uses an individual case as a point of contact. Are we together? It's the same grace that rests on someone. The Lord is showing me a lady you will never have profitable relationships this is marriage relationships you are a very beautiful lady you love god but the moment a man and i'm seeing that a curse was pronounced by a man of god over your grandfather this is what i'm saying a curse was pronounced by a man of god over your grandfather that because of something he did to insult the name of jesus that it, it will be like it's like a, a curse out of anger I'm not a prophet of doom God is solving issues here if a man comes to you and says I want to see your parents that statement alone something happens either his finances will go down or people will advise it against you but I pray let, let fire from heaven in the name of Jesus Christ we pray mercy whatever made that cause to come upon your family and your bloodline by the blood of the eternal covenant I cry mercy 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 in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says what is the lamb that was slain he was already slain you cannot suffer the consequences of what grandfathers or forefathers did therefore let fire destroy that altar in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ they want to go and see your parents and it looks like an embargo just comes and you cannot even understand it character loving Jesus listen look at me believe me I don't mean to scare you but you must understand spirit transactions over the destinies of men otherwise if you fool yourself that life is only scientific or physical or sociological you will be cheated a thousand times hallelujah I want to pray for you Asabe in the name of Jesus my sister look at me that lady what do you do I'm a lawyer but I work in an NGO an NGO where are you from I'm from Adama State father in the name of Jesus look at me I'm seeing that you I don't know if you are doing it or you're going to start a business this is what God will use to prosper you 
in a way huh? god will lift you you know how god lifts somebody and uses the person to wipe the tears of their family members i place grace upon you go and write it make sure you go through this prophetic word and act on it by faith i don't know who god needs to raise like that there will always be someone god will raise to wipe the tears of a family it is God's intention to reach everybody, but he starts with one person. I'm praying for you. And an anointing is going to come on people now. If you are the one anointed to be the opener of ancient doors over your family, that a door that has refused to open, God is anointing you at this miracle service. You are carrying the mantle of a warrior. You are the one who will open that door ministerially, open that door financially, open that door maritally. Right now, receive that impartation. Receive that impartation. Receive that impartation. Receive that impartation. Whether male or female, I say it again. The grace that opens doors, that you are the first person that God will use to deliver your family from shame, from reproach. Let that grace rest on you now. In the name of Jesus. Now, let me pray for those in front so that they can go back to their seats for those who can. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, the Lord brought you out here. The graces you have received remain with you. And the demonic spirits that have troubled you, hear the word of the Lord. I command those influences to live your life forever. Never to return again. In Jesus' name. So those who are under the anointing in front and they can, please let them walk victoriously back to their seats. Hallelujah. Godia, did I prophesy? Have I spoken about them? I want to pray for you. I cancel this obituary I'm seeing. I'm seeing that this week, I don't know if the person is here, but I'm seeing a car accident, a car and a tree. This is, and the car is ramping to a tree and everybody in the vehicle, whole family with all the children, in the name of Jesus, I cry unto the God of all grace. We cancel it now. It's always a demonic thing. Always a demonic thing. We cancel it now. Oh, we exert dominion over this vision. We cancel this accident now. We cancel this accident now. I declare the covering of the blood upon your head. You and your children will not die by accident. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. There's a woman here. You are a teacher. Teacher in a secondary school. Teacher in a secondary school. I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing God wants to do something I'm seeing at least four children. You're a woman, you're a teacher, you teach. That's what you do in a secondary school. Um, I pray for you. Please place your hand. I want to rebuke. There's something, anything that is growing in your stomach, whether as fibroid or whatever it is, in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare now, let that demonic thing die. You had a dream and in that dream you saw a diagnosis and it was cancer i'm not saying you have cancer you had a dream please if there's such a person here i want you to come out come how do i know what dream you had come you had a dream it was a diagnosis in that dream and it was cancer do you know please look up i don't mean to scare you it's a miracle service I remember back then in Zaria, that was the first time I saw that vision. I'm not saying if you have cancer, I'm going to pray for the sick. I've not prayed for the sick yet. There's a reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. I remember praying for a woman many years ago. And this woman said someone came to her in a dream, holding a syringe and saying this is HIV, uh, uh, HIV virus, injected her in the dream. She woke up physically and started having symptoms of HIV. And then the trouble is that it was not only her. It started spreading to the... You can imagine a family. Nothing at all that should bring HIV. And yet all of them like that, HIV. 
this work of ministry is like medicine you will see a lot of things a lot of things but the bible says thanks be to god i pray for all of you any planting of satan uh, i will pray for the ones who i just mentioned now with the case for cancer but in the name of jesus i'm praying for you godia in the name of jesus between now and august for one of you one of you between now and august god is telling me that what you will do in your life will bring you rest because this has been your prayer rest and one of the issues is marriage rest it will it will happen so fast it will surprise you in the name of jesus christ it will happen so fast it will surprise you in the name of jesus and for anything that the devil has planted help that lady in your stomach fibroids or whatever growths i curse it right now it stops growing and it dies permanently help that lady in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus a dream was it not through a dream solomon received wisdom dreams are vehicles they can transfer nonsense and they can transfer grace a dream is also a portal in the spirit father in the name of jesus i pray for you i know some of you here didn't really have a dream you just came up but no problem the mercy of god but hallelujah obedience sometimes when you want to receive from god just just obey amen but let's pray god is a merciful god father i decree and declare anyone carrying anything in their body now that came from a dream realm and is waiting quietly to manifest as cancer waiting you are you are beginning to see symptoms pain weakness growth that looks like appendicitis but it's not appendicitis in the name of jesus because for someone i i'm, I'm i don't want you to, to i'm seeing it looks like almost like an ovarian cyst but it's not it's not a cyst is is growing to become something that is cancerous in the name of jesus we cry unto the god of heaven let it stop growing now and die from this body let it stop growing now and die from this body let it stop growing now and die from this body i say it again let it stop growing now and die from this body in the name of jesus I may not have the liberty to describe what I'm seeing. You're a lady, but you need help. This one, what you need is both prayer and medical attention. Please listen to me now. What you need because there's, there's wisdom in dealing with things. Because with what the Lord is revealing to me, this is something that is a reproductory problem. You may need to meet the medical uh, uh, people maybe immediately to help you. Because I'm going to pray for you, but in all honesty, you also need to be attended to medically. Because I'm seeing that this has, is not something that is good. And let me use this opportunity and challenge believers. We are people of faith, but take responsibility over your health. Are we together? There is nothing wrong, and it is not lack of spirituality. When you find yourself, maybe there's some pain, there's some boil, there's some growth, there's some, you know, whatever it is and sometimes people do not want to look like they are not believing god so they don't take medical steps there is nothing wrong i do not believe there's anything wrong are we together most challenges can be managed at the stage of infancy at least medicine has been that advanced and while you are trusting god to step in there are some things that only medicine would deal with because the, the condition of this lady is not something to say in public it's not safe it's not wise even but let me advise you don't feel bad you can go to the medical stand and you can talk with the doctors they are trained and they will help you and recommend a solution for you now otherwise you're going to destroy your organs in the name of jesus christ the power of god comes to give us wisdom are we learning now so that don't be careless while you are trusting god for a miracle it's important to take personal responsibility personal responsibility i'm about to pray for the sick but i'm seeing someone i need to pray for you uh, i'm not a doctor i don't know how many variations of diabetes but you have sugar diabetes sugar diabetes and if i don't pray for you 
this thing has produced a lot of internal injuries i want to pray for that person diabetes i don't know whether it's a young person elderly person i don't mean to embarrass you but i'm having a very strong prompting within my heart to pray for people with diabetes so even if you don't have the courage to come out no problem when i begin to pray for people open up your heart to receive but diabetes we need to pray that why is she here the lady the teacher look at me you are a teacher where private school teacher secondary primary school teacher a private school teacher secondary teacher are you married how many children do you have i have four one gone one is gone these are teachers okay diabetes we're a family we're a family so once you can stand in well i won't say you can stand in for someone who have too many people come out if you're standing for someone just remain on your seat and connect by faith so that we have people who are standing in for themselves just bring mama gently here as we pray that devil out of her body look at me my dear you're a teacher too in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you um yes you just put them one side i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead ah, i'm praying here but what i'm seeing has nothing to even do with the spirit of death look at me this lady wearing look at me i want where are you from State. i need to rebuke a spirit there's a dangerous spirit of death hovering around your life i stretch my hands and i declare in the name that is above all names the sound of death will not be heard in your family again i curse that spirit right now and i declare be delivered now if you have diabetes come out oh let me pray for you when god speaks it's because there's an anointing on it there's an anointing on it fathers mothers if you are not sure don't just come out for a medical condition remember gehazi don't come out for a condition you don't know anything about so please make if you are yet to diagnose it just come i need to pray these young people are they on their own huh do they understand what i said find out please no, no, I know. I'm talking about a, a little one. Say, you, you diag diagnosed with diabetes? Two of them? Okay, I can see it. There will be mighty testimonies. I'm not a doctor, but I've seen people die from this satanic thing. It's a silent killer. Madam, the anointing is on you. This woman, I decree and declare right now. Huh? Let, let that demonic thing you see most of it is demonic i'm telling you this i lay my hands upon you by faith every spirit planting diabetes that in spite of treatment in spite of the drugs it does not seem to give way help help that woman i command right now be loose from that demonic thing be loose from it now be loose from it now be loose from it now, from it now. every internal injury that has refused to heal or physical injury that has refused to heal traceable to diabetes in the name of jesus i stretch my hands help that woman let the power of god rest upon you now you shall not die shout amen you shall not die if it has killed someone within your family in the name of jesus i declare minus you minus you therefore from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet diabetes be healed now diabetes be healed now diabetes be healed now in the name of jesus christ please return to your seat rejoicing god bless you thank you return to your seat rejoicing god bless you god bless you you know while we were having the sound of revival conference i made a call i was i think that was in us i was so humbled i made a call for those who needed to stand in having their children suffering from mental health or autism i could not believe the number of people who came out now i, I i'm not i'm not speaking professionally i don't know what is responsible for this mental health damage and this autism but i feel led in my spirit to just do this now please listen if you have a child you don't necessarily need to come with a child but if 
you, you, are, you are standing in trusting God for your child or someone, mental health or autism. Please, very quickly, we have one minute. Come and stand here. I want to speak over your life. Mental health. Damage, mental health damage or autism. An autistic child. Halena Shobadea. Let's all pray. Let's all pray while they come. It, it doesn't have to be your child. I hear me, if you don't have children yet, connect and pray that as I'm praying for them, I am sowing a seed. Some of those children were born normal. The devil just attacked them to plague them with autism. Whether you are standing for your own child, let me say this before we pray. And this is particularly to those following online. I want to salute every father and every mother globally managing an autistic child. I want to salute you from the depth of my heart. I have watched the discomfort firsthand that managing autistic children, there are people who had to cancel their jobs completely. Those, some had to relocate to other nations. I remember once meeting a lovely man, a lovely family I visited years ago in London. Lovely people. But they had this child with an aggressive dimension of autism. Like aggressive. If you ever go to bed and leave that child, you may wake up with the house on fire. Are we together? So when we pray for people like this, it's an act of responsibility. Because I tell you, this autism thing is a satanic thing from the pit of hell can tie down any destiny you know sometimes we have people here after service I have the honor of praying for some of these people and you can see a grown young man the mother cannot live her life again she suffered to give birth to him and she will still not rest how about the mental health problem intelligent people who should be working I know one who lacerates himself with um, a knife or objects like this you see that because of anger and frustration and some of them in that frustration they go online and then they start connecting with with extra biblical spiritual things for solution they are introduced to all kinds of satanic things technology for you you will see testimonies from this prayer when, when God speaks, let me tell you, my dear people, if you have an autistic child, take your mind away and look unto Jesus. Release your faith. Don't say, I prayed before. And if you are following online, perhaps you have an autistic child, you can bring the child forward and connect. I'm about to pray for the sick, but it was just put in my heart. Look how many people standing either for their own children or some other people they love. Let's stretch our hands as a family over these ones. Go ahead stretch your hands if god has given you children who are healthy and normal all way thank him but sow that seed to another family lord visit this family wipe their tears not to talk of families that have multiple children with autistic conditions koinonia connect by faith a miracle is about to happen right now pray lord deliver these families deliver these children give their parents rest for god's sake give their parents rest in jesus name i pray i want to rebuke the spirit that is back of that autistic condition and that demonic condition father i'm praying right now for all the precious families in front some of them are parents standing for their children some of them are siblings standing for their other siblings some of them are loved ones just standing for neighbors and friends i'm praying for you in the name of jesus the spirit that is back of any autistic condition or any mental health condition right now i speak to you here at this miracle service leave god's people now leave god's people now let there be healing for our children now 
it doesn't matter how long they've carried it I pray that the power of God will rest upon them that those children will sleep and wake up normally those who are not able to talk some of them that soon after this prayer they will begin to talk and speak coherently in the name of Jesus Christ and if there is any pattern of it in your bloodline as you are standing here we cancel it now we cancel it now in Jesus name we pray please return back rejoicing please return back rejoicing hallelujah please return back rejoicing I hope you are not tired of receiving I want to pray a very special prayer right now and I want you to listen before you come out it is not something I would usually do I want you to listen before you come out you come from a family where there seems to be a cause upon marriages marital problems either nobody gets married or they never stay if you understand what I just said I want to pray for you if you will see people beautiful ladies handsome guys responsible but it's like nobody you see I'm only acting as the Spirit of God is I'm not saying if you want to marry that's not the question listen to instructions if you want to marry God will release that grace and call forth your spouse but I'm talking of families you know that this is a satanic thing please come out I even hear that there are families where they tell them that if it is to marry properly and have children now please don't feel bad if maybe you've had a child and you're not yet married or you're a single mom don't worry we're a family of love but I need to say this I hear that there are families with all due respect where they even tell ladies you better go and find a man who will get you pregnant so that you can trap the person and have a husband let me tell you this with all due respect it's not a kingdom's way don't believe in that nonsense are we together you can with dignity of kingdom integrity marry properly to a good man a good woman and just because it happened to great grandfather and father it is your responsibility to fight it and say it dies from me this negative pattern are we together now so I'm about to pray fire is going to rest on many of you because you may not know what is responsible beautiful lady handsome guy you love Jesus someone comes to meet you and say I want to see your your parents and something just happens like this but if you agree to go and have a child or you agree to go and bow to Baal then it looks like it works the devil is a liar God is visiting situations tonight because you see let me tell you for as long as families remain dysfunctional there is a generation that will pay that price now I say this with all due respect but for as long as there is progressive dysfunction in homes eventually a generation there will be a threshold and a generation will pay that price so God is stepping in now to show mercy and I'm glad that some of you are standing do you know what the, it means as you are standing I told myself as a person I said everything that came from generations past maritally that is not of God I told myself it ends with me that is a covenant I made with my destiny are we together now if you, you did nobody chose where he came from but what you do with the realities before you now is your responsibility if you give excuses and say one day go better I assure you nothing will change but the day you get angry he said the breaker is gone forth you can get angry and say from whatever happened children before marriage okay thank God for those who went before me but you make up your mind that from you all it is going to end once and for all who is ready to make that decision I pray for you Shalina some of you is that parents who were not believers in a bid to go and search for solution search for children they fraternized with spirits they went to rivers waters and entered into covenants out of desperation give us children and we'll return them back to you and some of you are victims of these things right now others 
parents were sincere maybe they had not met jesus christ they went to native doctors and they gave conditions they did not understand by the blood of the eternal covenant any altar here tying down marriages by fire from heaven be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now, be delivered now. hear me every agreement between your family past and the devil that everyone from this family must worship the devil or worship some shrine you may call it any name whether you call it aleku whether you call it whatever it is i stand here by the voice of prophecy i cancel every agreement i cancel every agreement from plateau state to benway state to kogi state to the east to the west every agreement with the waters agreement with the sea agreement with spirit i cancel it now i cancel it now my dear sister every veil on your face that as people look at you in the realm of the spirit they are seeing something else by the power that raised christ from the dead if you have the faith to believe this prayer i tear that veil right now 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 now let me say this let me say this please listen to me gentlemen i'm going to pray a very special prayer for you now it's a prayer that i pray for myself and when it's time to pray everybody can receive but the men i want you to receive it the spirit of a servant and a beggar there are families that have that covenant the only way they live is by being beggars if you like go and do a phd anywhere around the world it is the women that feed the men no matter how hard working they are let me tell you it's a cause from hell things can happen temporarily i understand but where it becomes the norm 30 years into marriage the house was built by the wife the car was bought by the wife the only thing the man is doing is just to live there it is against divine order he said after you have suffered for a while that the god of all grace will establish you settle you everyone here that which has fought quality marriages in your family this miracle service you will not forget it in a hurry in the name of jesus christ i place an anointing on you the anointing that came on rebecca that out of the many ladies who were at the water side when the servant of abraham saw her he knew that this is the wife for isaac let that grace rest on you and every gentleman here whether you are standing for yourself your siblings or your children in the name of jesus the grace for your hand to be strengthened so that you can move to another season of your life i decree and declare let that grace rest on you in jesus name please return to your seat rejoicing let's celebrate them return to your seat rejoicing gentlemen lend me your attention now i want to talk to you i will never raise a people who are only spiritually vibrant and then remain economically incapacitated it is a curse from the pit of hell quote me anywhere are we together the inability to provide for your family and to live a life of dignity and honor this is something that you have to fight and fight and fight again Please make sure you help the people so that nobody is hurt. 
Hallelujah. Now look up please. Brothers, I'm praying for everyone, but I'm praying for you. You may not know the implication of this prayer, but there are many parents today in their 70s and 80s. They are still feeding their children till today. Mama is using her retirement to feed 8, 10, 15 children. It ought not to be so. And it's not like the gentlemen are lazy. I don't know why God is moving in this direction today. But I believe that God is insisting that the glory of God must be announced in your life. Are we together? Yes. Do you know one of the reasons why people are getting into Yahoo and uh, cultism uh, and money ritual? I will tell you because everybody wants to make progress. And when people are pressed like this, they only honor what is consistent with their convictions. So when the gentleman wants to make ends meet, it is not necessarily out of desperation or wanting money. Some just want a decent life. But since it is not there, they watch a friend who was once a beggar and in one month or two months for going to kill somebody or doing something, now has a car, now has a house. No matter what you say, there are people who will be desperate enough and say, show me, even if it's to sacrifice my mother, I will sacrifice her. So on one hand, we don't just tell people, stop money ritual, stop sin, stop this. You have to show people the way. If you don't show them the way, you will be talking nonsense on stage. They will, people are desperate. They will follow the direction of salvation or a semblance of it. I want to pray for every gentleman here. I confess to you that being established with the dignity of kingdom integrity outside the help of God is almost difficult for many men in our generation today. To get a house of your own without stealing, without killing, without destroying, without bribery. If God does not help you, you'll be wasting your time. There are people who have finished school 20 years, 25 years. They've not had the first job. When are they going to? How much is one block? How much is one cement? When are you going to build a house for yourself? Talk less, help others. That's where grace comes. And I want to pray for you. I want you to receive it. God is a helper. I believe that with all my heart. Father, I pray for everyone here, but particularly the gentlemen. I decree and declare everyone who is genuinely part of this grace by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Ali Sani Makaparakatos. Whether you are here on ground, outside, connecting across the globe, I pray for you. It will do you like a dream the way God will establish you. I say from the depth of my heart, it will be as if you are dreaming how my God will lift you. God will cause productivity to be your second name. God will raise strategic relationships as a leverage for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hands now. A healing miracle. Please lay your hands very quickly. Breast lump, lay your hands there. Heart condition, lay your hands there. Headache, lay your hands there. Leg pain, lay your hands there. If it's a blood disease, lay your hands on your heart as a point of contact. Please, let's do that quickly and by faith. Remember my teaching? Now is the time to release your faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, your people have come and many have come to be healed we've come to receive all kinds and all variety of miracles but many have come to be healed in the name that is above all names i decree and i declare right now over someone who has been plagued by sickness plagued by infirmity in the name of jesus the spirit that is back of that condition I come against you now 
koinonia shout a believing amen. amen the spirit that is back of that infirmity be arrested now in the name of Jesus amen. now I declare be healed amen. be healed amen. be healed amen. your blood be cleansed amen. bone conditions be healed amen. HIV be healed Cancer disappear. Lumps and growths across various parts of your body. They come under arrest now. You couldn't walk. You came here aided or you know you could not walk. I declare strength to your limbs now. You came here unable to see. Begin to see now. Unable to hear. Begin to hear now. You couldn't move any part of your body, your neck, your ankles, your arms. In the name of Jesus, let life surge to those parts of your body. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I decree and declare, peptic ulcers, be healed. Pile, be healed. There's someone you have like a boil inside your armpit. Severe discomfort. Be healed now. Amen. There's someone, don't be embarrassed, but I'm saying this, you have, and I've seen this many times, you have what they call mouth odor. It's, it's a very pungent smell. You know about this and it's affected you. You've done your best. Looks like some cavity problem. In the name of Jesus Christ, whilst you make the medical efforts to deal with it i'm praying for you let the spirit that is bringing this situation leave you now Amen. there's someone you have a problem you have a problem swallowing even when you don't take anything it looks like you are swallowing something that never goes down you know just like some problem with your throat the lord is healing you now Amen. in the name of jesus christ the Lord is healing you. There is a child that is a sickler. The Lord is healing that child now. Amen. I'm seeing a child whose eyes is quite yellow like it is for sicklers SS. The Lord is healing that child now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Appendicitis be healed now. Amen. Liver problems be healed now. Amen. Kidney problems be healed now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heart palpitations be healed now. I say it again. Heart palpitations be healed now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your right eye. You are not able to see very well with your right eye. The power of God is touching you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. There's someone when you sit down it looks like your bone around the lower back area there's excruciating pain i decree and declare after this prayer you sit down and find out you are fine in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead i bring you life and healing high blood pressure be healed low blood pressure be healed High blood pressure be healed low blood pressure be healed I say it again high blood pressure be healed low blood pressure be healed severe burning sensation around your chest be healed now in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray now we're going to pray. I wanted us to pray, my God. I don't know if we'll have the time to take testimonies. There are two prayers the Lord put in my heart and I want us to pray. Okay, let's pray. it. Even if we don't have the time to testify, we can testify another time. Please stand. Let's pray. Let's pray. Collate the prayer request. Have you submitted your prayer request? Please bring it out. Ushers, let's, let's have it very quickly. Thank you for your patience. I intended for us to close early today we'll still work with that time we have to be very very fast but there's a prayer that I want us to pray
you can pass your request to the last person the person by the extreme left or extreme right that makes it easy for the ushers to pick let's do that fast um the ushers need any assistance let's let's do well to provide them the assistance as needed if you need to pen down a few more things over your request please do that very quickly please do that very quickly please do that very quickly hallelujah hallelujah okay the first prayer we are going to pray is concerning the favor of God please listen I know you will think that because you are part of a ministry with a grace for favor it is working in your life I found out that this is it's not working in the lives of many people and the Lord put it in my heart this was strong while we're in Canada that on my return we should take the time few minutes to pray so we're going to pray that grace how do you know that the favor of God is upon you men will show you unusual kindness they will show you unusual acceptance they will show you unusual access are you ready to pray shout it say father, father. in the name of Jesus let the grace for favor begin to speak in my life open your mouth and pray please pray this would be a major reason why someone came to church tonight a major reason why someone came to church tonight a major reason please pray a major reason why someone came to church tonight someone pray a major reason why someone came to church tonight favor a redefiner of possibilities favor the unique edge to business the unique edge to ministry the favor of God provoked by value provoked by relationships provoked through prayer provoked by the anointing go ahead and pray let favor rest upon me that if I did not receive anything in tonight's service, let me carry that grace. Let me carry that grace. Someone pray. Let me carry that grace. Let it speak redefining my finances. Let it speak redefining my opportunities. Let it speak redefining my realities. Online, make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. There is a grace called favor. It can come on men. The results can be evident, bringing acceleration to your life. That whilst you serve the purposes of God, you advance with dignity, you make progress with dignity. Favor can redefine your marriage. The favor of God can redefine your family. It is not unmerited. Favor is merited. Favor is programmable. Favor is merited. Favor can be programmable. Sapa laka tepe laka parakata sekatesh Lebarenta sabrenta kepe lekata Pastor, declare favor upon your life Favor upon your ministry Favor upon your business Access to kindness Access to unusual acceptance In the name of Jesus Unusual kindness Unusual acceptance Pray favor over your business in addition to your productivity you need favor pray favor upon your ministry in addition to your diligence and consecration and love for Jesus you need favor in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray I want you to pray this final prayer with all your heart Jesus was teaching us how to pray and he said two things number one he said deliver us from evil deliver us from evil is the second prayer i penned down while in canada the lord put in my heart many of you do not know the mystery of calamities listen to my message deliverance from calamities you don't have to be an evil person to be a victim of calamities are we together now mishaps misfortune it says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous did you know there are people who walk head on and collide with calamity head on they are looking and you would think they are watching until they collide with calamity 
deliver us from evil are you ready to pray shout it say father i decree and declare that the rod of the wicked will not come near my dwelling i am delivered from trouble from pain from setbacks from calamity go ahead and pray please open your mouth and pray calamity of any and all sorts i'm escaped like the bird before the net the rod of the wicked someone pray the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous the rod of the wicked the rod of kidnappers the rod of armed robbers the rod of evil men the rod of ill ill speaking men the counsels of ahitophel the rod of the wicked in your place of work koinonia pray the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous in your business endeavor deliver me from evil deliver me from the scourge of the tongue deliver me from the ill wishes of wicked men deliver me from there that will not rest till they see your tears those who have vowed not to rest till they see your pain those who have vowed not to rest till they see you defeated those who have vowed not to rest pray deliver me from there who are in fraternity with dark spirits looking forward to your downfall looking forward to mishaps happening to you one more minute you are praying stretch that prayer to your children stretch that prayer to your spouse stretch that prayer to the works of your hands oh i escape like the bird before the snare of the fowler In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there are people who have no business hating you except that they kept companies and they transferred the hatred of antagonists to them and it fell on you your boss used to love you until someone who does not like you told your boss to join them in hating you and now you are fighting battles you cannot explain let me tell you the truth it is your responsibility to sanitize your environment and that through prayer are we together now the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous when a gatekeeper speaks evil about you it can peg your destiny when a, an evil person gets to the ears of your helper before your arrival they can bring whispers of this of of demons and by the time you arrive from their ears their hearts have been poisoned when they look at you they say i've changed my mind my intention was to lift you my intention was to wipe your family but somebody came and told me your family is not worth helping and they recycle seasons of pain let me pray for someone anyone who has sent a wrong word to the ears of your helper and without you knowing that your helpers have had things about you that is responsible for the antagonisms i'm praying for you be delivered this night be delivered this night be delivered this night from the scourging tongues of men be delivered this night in the name of jesus please stretch your hands to this prayer request stretch your hands and begin to speak as an act of faith we don't do this as a ritual no if god does we don't have to do it in a miracle service no 
it is always because we have a release by the spirit of god it is no ritual at all this is god visiting his people if you are bringing a request please bring it quickly everyone you are praying father answer me by the power of the holy spirit you are not just a prayer hearing god you are a prayer answering god let me not have to repeat these things i've written again satisfy me early with your mercy someone is praying satisfy me early take a minute to pray you are investing you wrote for your husband you wrote for your wife now pray for them you wrote for your children now pray for them you came to church receiving believing for someone else pray for them in the name of jesus christ pray for them pray for them father you are a prayer answering god i lay my hands over these requests answer your people give them testimonies let it come to pass let it come to pass let it come to pass that you have shown them faithfulness let it come to pass that you have shown them mercy let it come to pass that you have turned their captivities let it come to pass in the name of jesus that the doors have been opened let it come to pass an upgrade to the quality of their lives let it come to pass visit them impossible miracles in the name of jesus for in jesus name we pray for in jesus name we pray Amen. father i lift my hands bowing my knees before your people in the name of jesus i declare over every request here may it come to pass that the answers be delivered to your people speedily may it come to pass that the sickness is finally gone may it come to pass that the job has arrived may it come to pass that the baby has finally arrived may it come to pass that the visa finally came out may it come to pass that the relocation worked may it come to pass that the promotion happened may it come to pass that the cancer is gone may it come to pass that you now own your home may it come to pass that abuja has opened up for you whatever is consistent with god's desire as represented in this request i declare speedy answers the prophetic word for you over this this request is that it will come to pass in jesus name we pray Amen. lift your hands to receive the blessing i pray for you in the name that is above all names doors open Amen. koinonia receive it doors open Amen. every nation that has rejected you not after this service i decree and declare let the gates be open for you I say it again every nation that has rejected you not after this service in the name of Jesus let the gates be open for you whatever has made it difficult for you to meet your helper by prophecy I shorten the distance between you and your helper by prophecy I shorten the distance between you and your helper I shorten the distance between you and your helper in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare everyone who forgot you may they remember you tonight not tomorrow may they remember you tonight may they remember you for good may they remember you for kindness may they remember you for promotion may they remember you for lifting may they remember you for help may they be instruments of restoration in the name of Jesus anyone who has said where is your God may this week be their answer from monday to sunday let there be testimonies that show where your god is in the name of jesus and any covenant with hell with the grave with the spirit of death we severe that covenant now let me pray for a man of god who is in ministry may your hands be strengthened that this remaining part of the year you will wax valiant you will do ministry with power you will bring great glory to the name of the lord let me pray for a family here 
in spite of what may be happening around the nation i pray for you may a mark of exemption land on your head a mark of exemption let it rest on your head in the name of jesus if you must travel no accidents if you are in the air no plane crash i decree and declare if you must travel let the angels go before you clearing out wicked men from the road in the name of jesus i pray for your children you will not hear bad news you will not hear they've joined or called groups you will not hear they are destroying the destiny of others in the name of jesus your portion in this abuja let it be delivered to you your portion in nigeria let it be delivered to you your portion across the globe let it be delivered to you in the name of jesus i prophesy no more delay no more delay for your job no more delay for your papers no more delay for your children no more delay let me pray over your spiritual life fresh fire on your prayer altar shout amen fresh fire on your prayer altar you are loving jesus with all your heart serving jesus with all your heart i declare the grace for the study of the word let it rest upon you i separate you from wicked people i separate you from evil people in the name of jesus you will not beg for food to eat let strangers be sent by god to help you in the name of jesus in your place of work good news this week i say it again in your place of work good news this week in your business enjoy good news this week whatever you are waiting for it arrives speedily in the name of jesus wave your hands to jesus and give him praise for tonight i believe in jesus i believe in his power to heal ensure that within the next five minutes or so that we have that you will not walk out of this place with any infirmity in your body everything that is inconsistent with god's desire for you as revealed in scripture you have a responsibility to partner with the spirit of god and partner with the word to get it out of your life do you believe that rise up on your feet and let's pray for a minute and then i speak over your life someone who is full of faith begin to pray in the spirit in one minute pray in the spirit in one minute Pray in the spirit in one minute. Say after me as loud as you can. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that my life will be a revelation of the glory of God. I receive by faith all your promises for me. Go ahead and begin to pray. I receive. Someone is praying. I receive in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. And this is the confidence that we have in Him that when we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. Go ahead and pray. Oh, I receive by faith. Go ahead and pray. Divine health, speed, favor, lifting by the power of the Holy Ghost. Online pray. Outside pray. Man of God, pray. Businessman, pray. Worshippers, pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I'm just going to speak over the sick. I feel stirred in my heart to pray. We may not have time to take the testimonies. But you can take that you know on sunday you can come and testify but i want to pray particularly for the sick and then i want to speak 
the favor of God over your life and then we'll do the prayer there are many things to pray for but these two things your body and then to program a climate of favor over you many people have disrespected the power of the prophetic you will be joking just because there are abuses and imbalances does not mean you throw away the prophetic ministry it's an advantage that God gave us we transit realms we are changed upon the power of prophecy hallelujah I want to pray for the sick now listen to me the revelation behind healing is God's commitment to preserve your body and to give you the vitality needed to serve him and to represent him it's important you understand this when the sick are healed is beyond an attestation that a man of God is anointed no God's goal is way bigger than that it is God's commitment towards giving you sustained vitality it says they that be planted in the house of God it says they will flourish in the courts of our God that even in old age they will be fat and flourishing it then means that if you tolerate infirmity and sickness of any kind and any sort in your body it is your participation with darkness to cut short your life every manifestation of sickness is death being administered in a measure and according to the pattern of how satan works when he touches an area and you allow him unrestrained he will move further this is what he did to the church the early church the bible says herod made a commitment to vex certain jews and they caught james and beheaded james and the church kept quiet when he saw that it pleased the people the bible said he proceeded further satan touches your health you are quiet he proceeds further to your children proceeds further to your finances but then when we get to verse 5 the church became angry the bible says while he was waiting so that when you know the feast was over the bible says the church came together but prayer was made by the church unto god for him and angels came to the rescue the same angels that rescued peter were available to rescue james so as i pray for you make sure you do not entertain any trace of infirmity and sickness in your body as jesus taught the bible says the power of god was present the presence of the power does not mean it is administered to you it has to be received by faith healing is governed by the hearing of faith the hearing of faith that god wants to heal you and then you open up your heart to receive when you receive by faith every time jesus healed the sick he did not leave them that way he would always ask them to take steps in response to their belief this is the definition of faith faith is not just believing god faith is the name given to your response of obedience as proof that you believe believing god is part of the process that leads to faith but it is not faith until there is a response in obedience it is not faith in one word faith is obedience faith is not action faith is obedience you can act in disobedience Jonah acted but in disobedience we do not call his action faith because it was against the word of God your action must be consistent to the word of God and the instruction that has come are we together yes lay your hands right now I want to pray for you I'm standing in faith with Reverend Sam I want to pray for you for as long as I live I will see to it that everyone who is sick oppressed of the devil according to acts 10 38 that they have a chance to experience the power of god he said how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and he went about on the strength of that empowerment doing good and healing all not some they that were oppressed of the devil he says for god was with him acts chapter 10 when you read from verse 34 they said god is no respecter of persons i like that scripture that god is no respecter of persons god is no respecter of persons i want to pray for you lay your hands now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest by faith you can stand in for your loved one 
perhaps some mother somewhere trusting God for a miracle deliverance from any kind whatever it is lay your hands there right from the moment of worship as we enjoy the presence of God here we've been building momentum in the spirit and now that the word has come God's power is available to bring you healing healing right here on site healing online across distances no barrier and I want you to believe as I speak they are not empty words they are empowered there is a throne that backs our speakings father in the name of Jesus I lay my hands by faith upon everyone who is sick in their bodies I'm seeing people lift medical reports I'm seeing people lifting photos of their loved ones I wanted to connect by faith I'm about to speak to you now the Bible says by his stripes we were healed Peter said the spirits that are at the back of every infirmity here represented in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God we take authority over those spirits now shout a believing amen now shout a believing amen now every spirit that is back of any infirmity plaguing God's people I decree and I declare that you give way now and I minister the life and the power of Jesus to your body I declare be healed now be healed now be healed now my God be healed now eye conditions be healed now blood conditions of any kind and any sort be healed now bone conditions be healed now I tell you I sense such a strong anointing of the Spirit of God I'm praying for someone who has a severe pain around your ankle in the name that is above all names be healed this moment there is a lady your left eye you are seeing please help them in the name of Jesus I'm seeing you have severe pain when you look it's like you are look you are, you are seeing an object your left eye the power of God is touching you right now I bring you life I bring you healing in the name of Jesus I've seen these kinds of conditions many times and the Lord is asking me to announce it again you are a lady your circle happens twice a month it is very irregular it comes with excruciating pain the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ I cast that devil from your body all kinds of growths fibroids lumps I declare they die now in the name of Jesus Christ you're having severe pain especially at the left side of your neck when you turn it this happened when you woke up one morning I'm praying for you now the power of God is touching you this moment I don't know what hospital is in Garki but I'm seeing someone in a hospital there and the power of God is touching that person right now Garki a hospital there in the name that is above all names let there be a miracle for you right now let there be a miracle for you right now I'm seeing a woman sit on a chair and holding a child this child should be about maybe four or five years he has autism autism this is what is wrong with that child this is a woman from United Kingdom you are sitting with your child he has autism let the power of God touch that child now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you are having problems with your knee your knee particularly your kneecap you're not able to bend this way not without pain the power of God is touching you right now the Lord is showing me a lady you had a dream in that dream you saw yourself breastfeeding a baby from the time you woke up you've been having excruciating pain particularly the right side of your breast I cause that spirit right now I cause that spirit right now lumbar spondylosis be healed peptic ulcer be healed migraine headaches be healed I say it again migraine headaches be healed 
I command cancer to die. Sugar diabetes be healed. Pile. The Lord is healing someone from pile. Painful pile. Be healed in Jesus name. I'm seeing somebody having recurrent malaria. Recurrent. It keeps coming. You treat it. It comes. You treat it. I command that spirit to give way now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone having your heart is not palpitating but you are having breathing problems if you lie down in a room you know how an asthma patient is you don't have asthma but this thing affects your breathing i'm seeing sometimes you stand close to the window so you are able to breathe enough air i want to pray for you anything wrong with your veins and your arteries that the devil is programming death no matter what it is called i curse it now by the god of heaven in the name of Jesus heart palpitations be healed lupus be healed rheumatoid arthritis be healed in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me a man I'm seeing a man sitting you are beginning to have the initial stages of prostate cancer in the name that is above all names wherever you are whether you are here or following online by the God that we serve we call prostate by its name and we cause cancer by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus the Lord is ministering to me there is a lady you're not you're not you don't have a child but you are lactating you're lactating you don't have a child this is something you've gone to the hospital for in the name of jesus the son of the living god let that satanic occurrence come to an end now memory loss i'm hearing memory loss memory loss you forget things this is beginning to affect you in your place of work in the name of jesus i speak to you you have the mind of christ you have the mind of christ you have the mind of christ the lord is asking me to speak over someone I'm ministering healing but every time something good is about to happen you go to bed and you have a dream some person will come to molest you and the moment you wake up whether it's a job or some opportunity it just leaves in the name of Jesus the son of the living God we severe you from the influence of those spirits in the name of Jesus Christ there is a couple the Lord is asking me to minister to the problem affecting fertility is the man this is a problem that is common to men and yours is an acute problem you need a miracle this is not something drugs or supplement can correct you are not able to get your wife pregnant i want you to believe that the power of god is in this place god who quickened the body of abraham that isaac came even by natural means let that power that raised christ from the dead quicken your mortal body now quicken your mortal body now quicken your mortal body now i'm hearing a name zuera this is a name that i'm hearing zuera this should be another name in the name of jesus i pray for that person whether here or online every infirmity i'm saying this is something that has to do with your heart by the power that raised christ from the dead i bring you life and healing life and healing life and healing life and healing there is a woman god is asking me to pray for we're wrapping up um although this woman is on the big side it is not because of her weight that she's having mobility problems i'm saying that there is a problem just right here i'm literally feeling the pain from here I'm not a medical doctor i might not be able to give it all the explanation needed but in the name of jesus that pain at your right side is affecting mama's mobility as the church of the lord jesus christ we cause that pain now we cause that pain now we cause that pain now hearing problems be healed now speech problems be healed now 
I feel set up in my heart to just speak. This is not word of knowledge, but it's just out of an information I know, particularly around Europe, the case of mental health and autism. These two cases is plaguing children, particularly in their teenage. We stand in faith right from here. We are speaking to the nations, but particularly we release our faith over the children in Europe from Nigeria to Europe, extending to Canada, America. This plague, this spirit of mental health, destroying people at their productive years. We call it by name and we curse it by the God of heaven. We curse it by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I declare favor over you? Mm. Truly there is a grace called favor. I want you to convince yourself that there is such a grace and it can rest upon a man it brings systems and structure under pressure and compels men to treat you with benevolence with kindness there are three biblical indices to measure the presence of favor number one unusual kindness when the grace for favor is on you men related and unrelated they are compelled by this grace to show you unusual kindness number two is unusual acceptance acceptance beyond the prejudices of tribe race gender this is what happens when you receive the grace for favor number three is unusual access access this is how you know that the favor of god has rested upon you the bible says watch this now it says in esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the b part says and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 says and the king loved esther more than all the virgins he now placed a royal apparel upon her head and made her queen instead of vashti exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty psalms 44 and verse 3 they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their arm save them but thou O lord and thy right hand the light of your countenance because thou hast a favor towards them i pray for you standing in partnership with the grace upon the angel in this house i decree and declare from the transforming church to all those who are connected I stand as a privileged steward of this grace in the name that is above all names let this grace for favor let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now unusual access let it rest upon you from the depth of my spirit I release that grace upon you let it work wonders in your life favor in your career favor in ministry favor in business favor in family even pharaoh must favor you help that woman in the name of jesus hear me by this prayer every door that has been closed over your life i stand upon the grace of the man of god and i speak to that door a fata be open a fata be open a fata be open 2024 hear the word of the lord be open now when jesus was born even as a baby with no ability to help himself that grace spoke and the magi right from where they were the bible says these were adults and they carried gifts of gold of frankincense and myrrh they were taking it to a baby not an adult i'm praying for you again this is an advantage we have in the kingdom may favor rest upon you and let it begin to speak from this night in the name of jesus favor that brings establishment favor that connects you to strategic men in the name of jesus ministers of the gospel let favor bring helpers for you helpers of the war in the name of jesus christ 
this year i forbid you from being alone i forbid you from crying alone in the name of jesus the grace that helped hagar in the desert hagar was crying together with her baby and when god spoke to her she looked and saw an oasis springing forth i declare the oasis that must spring from your desert let it begin now can we pray i'm going to request um since we're praying on it together is that fine reverend sam okay please let me request the ushers please bring the prayer requests and then please bring it can you guys pour it here we are going to pray on this by the grace of God and I remember doing this last year and I'm still going to request again I know this is the transforming church but please allow me request particularly for Reverend Sam to make declarations that grace for influence many of you do not know that penetrating cultures and systems comes with a grace no matter how gifted you are our world is bound by tribal ethno cultural prejudices it takes a grace many times beyond your gift to give you visibility and access beyond the shores of the territory wherein you are domiciled are we together yes the things that you are going to be receiving is from the abundance of the grace and the mercy of god there are many of you here who run corporations but you've not been able to break into certain circles it is not by might it is not by power i have seen many gifted people worship ministers several people i've seen men and women of god sincere with character integrity sound in scripture but the capacity to break beyond the barrier there is an embargo it's a territorial embargo it forces men to look like the spirit of the city it takes grace to lift people and to give you a flight beyond your limitation i have seen people today that in in all honesty reverend sam sometimes i wonder why are you at this level and these are not people maybe you know they are prepared I hope that one of the graces that we're, we're going to be praying for right now is the grace for visibility the Bible says neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel there are many of you right now you are gifted but you are with the wrong audience the people around you do not have the discernment to appreciate what you carry nor the capacity to reward what you carry you need to be translocated by the Spirit to an environment where they have an appreciation for what you carry it is very insulting and frustrating to be gifted and be around the wrong audience they will not place value on what you carry this is what honor is about honor compels men to perceive you correctly as touching your value and to reward you to match the extent of your sacrifice reverend sam <laughs> praise the name of the lord do you believe in the power of agreement yeah. we're going to kneel and pray and i want no 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 you don't have to kneel who will do the kneeling for you yours is to receive don't let any spirit distract you these are the kinds of prophetic moments where people's destinies change and this is where satan steals into people's focus and then fools them to be looking around and then they miss their day of opportunity jacob said the lord was in this place and I knew not. Begin to pray in the spirit. Reverend Samson. Come on, somebody open your mouth and begin to pray. Kratalis, Kabeshikalatas, Salaratos, Kiana Balandos, Ratofel and the Susa Vredia, in the Basofrenas Kupadiza, El Barosi Velacos, Solotos, Shaharatos, Kabeshikalas, Savras, Kapalanda, Kabeshikalaya. In Jesus' name, Amen. I'd like you to just place your right hand on your head as you pray right now. And let me say this the first
person to ever walk up to me I say Reverend Sam there's a grace for cross-cultural influence on you was Pastor Kunle Shorion the second person was Apostle Selman recognizing that grace God has been so merciful we can't even share things in the public the Bible say he is the one that bust your confinements from today whatsoever is the reason for your confinement it is over I say the Lord bust your confinements servant of God the Lord bust your confinements inside and outside the Lord bust your confinements single lady single man the Lord bust your confinements I decree and declare from today your branches will begin to spread over the walls you are uncontainable from today you are unstoppable from today you are irresistible from today you begin to spread out you begin to move out you begin to advance begin to advance break barriers break limitations break obstacle move higher move forward advance progress flourish thrive locally and internationally go to the nations go to the nations your doors are open your gates are open your gates are open in the name of Jesus hallelujah listen to me please listen the greatest way and the most potent way to transfer graces is through words hallelujah words he said if you had known of the dispensation of the oh, grace that yes, was given Lord, unto yes. me for you word given to me for you i want to release the grace for visibility listen to me deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 my god the bible says and it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord thy god to observe and to do all that i command you this day it says that you shall be exalted above all not some all the nations of the earth from tonight like a candle that has been lit i forbid you from remaining small yes i forbid you from remaining small may that grace for visibility rest upon you access to the nations of the earth access to the hearts of kings in the name of jesus hey! hallelujah when saul met with samuel yes. three things happened samuel said is it not because the lord has anointed yes. you to be a captain over his inheritance i pray for you the anointing that makes you a captain the bible calls it an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows may that grace rest upon you now and samuel told saul he said as you return the first thing is restoration that the donkey that has been missing would have been back home we prophesy that everything you have lost in 2023 we decree and declare let it be a balance brought forward for you yes in the mighty name of jesus i speak restoration yes i speak restoration yes i speak restoration yes. number two he said you will meet with three men uh, yeah, yeah. each of them holding two loaves yes sir. they will salute you and they will give, they will to, give you. to you and he says of them receive yes where are your helpers of hey! destiny we decree and declare yes, from january to december 2024 Shabana. Shabana. enjoy the ministry Shabana. of Shabana. destiny helpers yes enjoy the ministry of destiny yes! helpers 
Number three, it says you will come to the garrison of the Philistines and that the Spirit of God will come upon you and you will begin to prophesy. Yes. I pray for you, yes. the unction that turns you to another man, hey. another man in hey. business, another man in ministry, yes. another man in worship, yes. another man in family another life. Man. Let that grace rest upon you. Yes. The grace that makes Abraham, Abraham. Hey! The grace that makes Sarai, Sarah. The grace that makes Sifa, Peter. The grace that makes Jacob, Israel. The grace to become another man. Receive it in Jesus' name. Yes! My God. Can I request, before we pray on the request here, yes. can you stretch your hands towards us? The Bible says that God will bless the works of your hands. Ah. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. Listen, Job said in the days of my youth, ah. when his light, his candle was upon my tabernacle, yes. you see, there were two kinds of light that Job had. One upon his head and another upon his path. Yes. The one on his head was for illumination. The one on his path was for direction. And the benefit of the light upon his head was seen in the works of his hands. I want to pray for you. Ah. In the name of Jesus, yes. we release our faith. Yes. Nothing dies in your hands. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing dies in your hands. Nothing. Nothing dies in your hands. Yes. Let blessing meet blessing on your hands. Hey. May the Lord make your hands strong. Yes. May the Lord prosper the works of your yes. hands in the name of Jesus. Yes. My God. Stretch your hands in this direction, Father. I lift up this request before you. And we ask that you who answers prayer will answer every prayer here. Grant your children their heart's desires. Amen. Let the sick be healed. Amen. Let your doors be open. Return with testimonies of liftings. Your promotion comes early. Your visa granted early. Your project is finished early. The land enters your hands. What you've been waiting for, receive. Your request is granted. Your request is granted. Your joy coming now. Your doors are open. Your favor is granted. Rise to the next level. Rise to the next level. Enter your next dimension. Be supernaturally married. I decree increase on every side multiplication no more delays no more delays no more affliction no more reproach it is done hallelujah please allow me to release one more grace before we are done the greatest investment of the spirit upon my life is the grace for encounters the Bible says, blessed is the man that God causes to approach him. You see, if all we receive are just things, we did not receive much. There is a grace that compels men. You see, hunger is a gift. Hunger is proof of health. You're about to receive something very heavy right now. The first thing that happens when a, an individual is sick, is the loss of appetite you use the loss of appetite as a layman's way of diagnosing the presence of sickness that means when you lose spiritual hunger is a sign that something is wrong and there are people because of the vicissitudes of life because of the the challenges the wear and tear of life many here have lost their passion passion for the things of god passion for prayer passion for fasting passion for the word they've lost touch with consecration they've lost touch with all that makes men mighty we stand in agreement 
and we pray for you in the name that is above all names yes, Lord. Yes. fire from heaven hey! that reignites your prayer life yes fire from heaven fire that reignites your word study yes. life fire from heaven yes that reignites your passion yes. for god receive it now hey. receive it now hey. receive hunger yes hunger for oh, church yes hunger for god hey. hunger for the things of god hey. hunger for the study of hey. the word hunger for prayer hey. in the name of jesus hey. that regardless the level you have attained in the spirit yes, Lord. i plant in you from tonight a holy dissatisfaction hey. Uh, let it drive you to fast hey. let it drive you to pray let it drive you to fast hey. let it drive you to pray hey. let it drive you to fast hey. let it drive you to pray hey. let it drive you to study hey. let it drive you to give hey. in the name of jesus hey. if reverend sam will lend me one more minute yes. i want to cause mm. the spirit of greed and connection to material things this may look like an unnecessary prayer but listen carefully there are many who do not have because god knows that if he gives them it will have them. oh my god are we together yes god fights everything that takes his place even if he's the one who gave you materialism is not having materials materialism is getting to a point where you exalt materials to be the god in your life replacing the position of the christ and this is the tragedy of many believers ministry can become an idol hey. yes sir preaching can become an idol business can become an idol nothing in itself destroys until it is connected to a heart condition that exalts it above god i want to pray by this prayer a circumcision will happen to someone listen there are many of you god wants to prosper you he wants to open doors but you see the hindrance to your becoming and to your entering the next level is not necessarily demonic is that there is a heart condition god wants to prepare so that when the billions and the millions come when the exaltation and the increase comes you will remember the lord your god that's what he told the people i pray for you every mundane connection to things that has made you exalt money position titles above and beyond the christ we dethrone it now we dethrone it now we dethrone it now finally i declare before i let reverend sam continue by this time next year Gilgal 2025 except if you don't plan to be alive but for as long as you plan to be alive I prophesy to you return 10 times better return 10 times better spiritually financially yes. career wise yes. the 10 times better anointing yes. let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus hey. Give Jesus a big hand of hand nice. clap. Seven people will start running now. Hold them, please, so they don't enjoy themselves. Just hold them. The power of God is coming on them. Shalaneke parusiata, krabele sote balato shabraski vedesh, krete belendo sabreti shalakusiada. The Lord is speaking to someone. There are at least ten of you. Now help them, please. That you are the deliverer over your family. There is an anointing. You are the deliverer. There is a mantle upon you. You are the one who God is going to be using, like a Gideon. Help them, like a Gideon. I will soon ask you to bring them out. Like a Deborah, like a Gideon. 
you are the one who the grace is upon. You are the one who the grace is upon for the deliverance of your family. I'm saying it again. You are the one who the grace is upon. As I'm speaking, I'm depositing an anointing upon your spirit man. Land of Arato Savraski Lemananto Sobratis Theatre. There's a wind that is blowing in this place. There's a wind that is blowing in this place. Please, I'd like you to bring all those people out now. If the ushers have seen some of you who are workers within the ministry, please join them. Join them very quickly. Please bring them out. The wind is blowing. It's a new season. New season. There's a reason why I ask that you bring them out. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire. And the Lord is saying, I should tell someone, you are coming to the end of an old season. A season of training. God has been working upon you. My God, I don't know who that person is, but fire is falling upon that person. You are prayed, you are fasted. You are coming to the end of a prophetic season. You are at the corridor, stepping into a new season with a new mantle with a new anointing an old season an old season with everything that is old with the limitations of the old given way by the power of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit deliverance from delay. Delay. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but fire is about to fall. Your family has been kept down in the same position. Nobody moves. Right now I decree and declare at the count of three, may that fire fall, help that lady. In the name of Jesus, the spirit behind delay, I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. Give way now. 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 This way now, this way now, the spirit of delay, tying down ministries, tying down families, tying down children, tying down destinies. Open your mouth and pray in one minute. I break the chains of delay. Delay in ministry. Never again. Delay in ministry. Delay in destiny. Karaba, are you praying? North East, are you praying? Never again. I stand to enforce the verdict of heaven. Outside, pray. Following by television. Turn your home to a prayer room. Turn your living room to a prayer room. Don't just watch. Pray. Participate. Hallelujah. Who is Godwin? I'm hearing the name Godwin. Godwin. Your name is Godwin, sir. You know him? I want to speak to you, sir. Oh. Because... I was going to say that I'm looking at you, sir. I hope you're not offended, sir. Because I, I'm looking at him and I saw the same thing on your head. On him. The same cap. Bishop cap. I still saw it on him. And, and You're a bishop, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, sir. With all you, please don't kneel. Please don't kneel. Please don't kneel. You're a bishop. We honor you. In the name of Jesus. Are you alone, sir? 
you are with your wife there's a grace on this meeting that you are carrying back are you an anglican bishop sir i'm seeing a replica of this kind of thing wherever i don't know where your your um your diocese or your station oh you are here i'm seeing a replica i don't know whether it's here or wherever it is you are but i'm seeing a replica of this kind of meeting in the name of jesus i agree with you sir by the privilege of the apostolic let grace let fire let it rest upon you let it be a new season for you and your wife and the ministry in the name of jesus and we use this man as a point of contact to pray for every bishop here that the grace god has deposited upon his servant his lordship let it be reproduced across the entire you know across the entire Anglican communion in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is Josiah? God bless you, sir. Josiah. I'm hearing a name Josiah. I want to pray for the sick, but I'm hearing a name Josiah. Please make sure you verify. Have you ver you see Josiah? I'm seeing stones in a vision and I'm seeing fire come out of them and the Lord is saying destroy the hold of witchcraft this thing has tied a family destroy the hold of witchcraft I'm going to count three and you're going to shout the name Jesus any family here where witchcraft has sat on you manifesting as sickness manifesting as patterns as you shout that name here at Daniel 2024 in the name of Jesus every altar must give way are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout Jesus I command dark powers I command yokes I command altars give way now by the blood of the eternal covenant help that lady by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken over destinies be broken over destinies across the 16 local government areas in Taraba state here be broken be broken yokes that have tied down women so they don't make progress be broken now yokes that have tied down young men so they don't go forward be broken now yokes that return married women back to their parents homes be broken now hallelujah listen listen i feel stirred in my spirit to speak over the church in the northeast while we were having our conference as i flew over canada in fact before i got there for those of you who follow the conference i saw a dark cloud literally over the territory and the lord said this thing is targeted at priesthood so that those who bear the name of the lord cannot be effective within the territory let me tell you honestly there are spirits within territories and in order of priority the first thing they fight they fight the voices that represent the program of god are we together now we are going to pray in one minute before i begin to pray for the sick that every church you will join me in the prayer every church that names the name of christ in taraba using the anglican communion as a point of contact that in the name of jesus every attack on the influence of the church every attack on the body of christ in taraba and the northeast we stand as a united family of faith and we declare that it falls like dagon before the ark open your mouth and pray in one minute advancement for the church of the lord jesus christ massive salvation of souls like never before massive deliverance massive transformation by the accurate communication of doctrine believers empowered sends to be witnesses advancing the program of God within this territory someone pray
in Jesus name we pray this little boy don't worry you don't have to lift him I'm looking at a little boy like this but what I'm seeing is a snake I'm not saying the boy is a, a witch or a wizard that's what I'm just telling you that I'm seeing oppression I don't know how old this boy is but in the name of Jesus I declare release this boy now out of it now release this boy now look at this look at this this is a little boy he is not even aware of what is happening Satan for you you will watch this boy cause a lot of destruction and not know and now let me correct something if you're a prophet here listen and learn because of what I saw you can call this boy a witch he's not a witch being under a demonic influence does not make you a witch don't harass people and keep creating stigma that even after they are delivered if this boy is your cook now even after he's delivered if you call him a witch will you eat the food so there needs to be intelligence as we dispense the gifts of the spirit the yoke and the foundation responsible for this boy's problem has nothing to do with him he was just a victim but thank god for the house of god he says send thee help from his sanctuary there is help in the sanctuary of god so we use this boy as a point of contact to everyone who has been brought out here by the spirit of god for various reasons in the name of jesus everyone under any demonic influence by the blood of the eternal covenant i set you free now 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 by the blood of the eternal covenant who is rebecca 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 i can presume that that's the name of so many people i'm hearing the name rebecca gentlemen i can't even remember why i asked you to come here josiah who is rebecca my mother your mother yes, are you his mother madam or you are rebecca huh no no don't worry if 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 your relative is rebecca just receive by faith while you are standing i mean a real rebecca who is here please god bless you sir thank you somebody will be related to rebecca in one way or the other but i mean those who if you are rebecca here so that we don't don't tell lies are you rebecca your real name given to you by your parents rebecca there's someone you came here with pain just here where i'm placing my hand around your what, what part of the body is this what do we call this place hip the hip area right now as i'm speaking the power of god is coming upon you I want you to check yourself we'll take a few testimonies now let me pray over you rebecca my dear the anointing of the spirit is coming on you this lady in front of me i decree and declare for you and for your family in the name of jesus christ rebecca by the power of the holy spirit every curse is broken now every curse is broken now every curse is broken now in the name of Jesus who is Adamu 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 that's like a house name for Adam I think Adamu is your name Adamu who knows him who knows him as Adamu is his name Adamu hmm. no sometimes we have to do this thing because you know, people just think everyone is faking this thing so sometimes you just do this for the sake of integrity hallelujah my friend I'm going to pray for you uh, gentlemen Adamu I want to pray for you I stretch my hands over you and I decree and declare look at me the Lord is healing someone you have a condition with your heart your heart you cannot lie down with one, one area you don't even know what is happening to you it's a medical condition that can eventually degenerate to heart failure if god does not step in you feel severe pain around your heart i'm about to pray for the sick now 
and the power of God will heal you but at the more I pray for you and your family in the name of Jesus may God restore Amen. that is a prophetic word for you I declare a word of restoration in the name of Jesus Christ Josiah is that the name in Jesus name what do you do sir you're a student I want to pray for you in Jesus name because I'm seeing a Josiah who God is going to live to become a breadwinner that God will use to wipe the tears of his family members I pray for you this man where are you from this city at this very one yes. from where what from, from where Zing. yes I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the Lord show you mercy Amen. may God lift you to be a breadwinner in your family Amen. do not despise yourself not the workings of God in your life it would turn you as ordinary as you look to a sign and a wonder in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there is a gentleman at the back I see the power of God coming on a gentleman this is a very strong prophetic grace a gentleman it may fall on many people but a gentleman a gentleman mighty anointing careful let him not run anyhow please hold him hold him a gentleman you don't have to bring him out I'm just speaking over him a strong prophetic grace let that anointing rest upon you may God begin to do wonders through your life In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now I want to pray for the sick please look at me I believe with all my heart that you can walk away tonight from every demonic infirmity that has plagued your body are we in agreement on that here's what will happen I'm going to pray for the sick very quickly and let me request for the presence of one or two pastors here as soon as I pray for you I'm going to ask yourself I'm going to ask you to check yourself the moment the power of God touches you and you see that a miracle has happened some of you while you came here under the anointing already a miracle had happened I want you to walk to my left or to my right you will take a few testimonies before I begin to make declarations over your life now lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle everywhere outside if you came with a sick person now is the time to believe God for their healing remember divine verdicts have to be engaged through the partnership of obedience please place your hand believe God for a miracle you had the testimony that the representative of the governor brought here very humbly I think God allowed him to just bring that testimony to stir up the faith of somebody I want to pray for you you do not have to walk away with that sickness I have been sick before I know what it means to be sick and I know what it means to be healed genuinely healed not pretentiously healed genuinely healed when the power of God touches you medicine will confirm it medicine does not conflict the supernatural power of God if it is genuine authentic healing medicine will agree that you are healed I want to pray for you place your hand if it's your head lay your hands there your eye lay your hands there if you are holding a picture of someone who is sick you can agree if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest thank you Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ you may be outside but let me tell you truly distance is no barrier I saw so many people outside across the windows and some who are following on ACNN following across the airwaves give God a chance to bring his healing power to your homes your offices this is what he can do this is what he wants to do now that you can also join the never again campaign that never again will I spend all my salary on just drugs and earnings speaking about the woman with the issue of blood the Bible says she spent her all on doctors and it was in no way better I pray for you now in the name that is
is above all names everyone under the sound of my voice you don't have to bring those under the anointing out again if i ask you to then you else just manage them where they are so they don't injure themselves every infirmity represented here the spirits that are back of any infirmity plaguing god's people in the name of jesus i declare let god's people go now oh god the anointing of the spirit is so strong in this place let god's people go now the spirits behind infirmities the spirits behind diseases we curse you by the blood of the eternal covenant in the name of jesus christ now i declare be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name headaches be healed in jesus name body pains be healed in jesus name ulcers be healed in jesus name fibroids i command you to flush out of that body now heart problems be healed in the name of jesus back pain be healed in the name of jesus bone conditions be healed in the name of jesus eye conditions you couldn't see begin to see in the name of jesus deaf ears be open now in the name of jesus urinary problems be healed now in the name of jesus severe weakness of your body severe weakness in the name of jesus be healed now the lord is showing me someone you cannot successfully climb a staircase without stopping to breathe is something that is wrong with your heart the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ pile be healed now in the name of jesus whether it's your circle or not you have consistent flow and it comes with excruciating pain the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now long around the right breast is being healed now by the power of the holy spirit as a gentleman is like you have a projection in your throat very inconveniencing you cannot swallow it looks like something is growing around your throat i declare that that growth disappears now that growth disappears now there's someone you have what we call muscle pull once you are walking sometimes you have to stop because it looks like there's a severe sprain the power of god is touching you right now you couldn't lift your right hand very high because of excruciating pain around your shoulder the power of god is touching you now in the name of jesus christ now you've treated it it looks like cough or catar but it has refused to go you are always coughing out something always coughing out something from all the time coughing out something in the name of jesus christ let the healing power of jesus touch you now shout a believing amen now whether i mention your case directly or not there is a pastor you're beginning to feel symptoms of arthritis one side of you is becoming weak in fact when you lie down if you don't lie down well you feel numbness you know how sometimes it looks like blood is not flowing this happens one side of you it is symptoms of arthritis the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now i'm seeing someone you have like a boil around your armpit in the name of jesus christ the power of god is healing you right now your neck you sprained 
your neck and from that time you are able to move your neck but there is excruciating pain from within when i'm done praying you check yourself you will not find that pain again in the name of jesus christ now there's someone i'm seeing you have a child that child is beginning to be incoherent like symptoms of autism you gave birth to a normal child but right now the child is beginning to be incoherent you know it's like there's no coordination the child is losing coordination and is becoming aggressive the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now now whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name across the airwaves i bring you life by the spirit i bring life to your body life to your organs life to your system in the name of jesus now here's what i want you to do for me i want you to start checking yourself now check yourself by faith do what you couldn't do before and the moment a miracle happens to you please make your way to the front we'll take a few people the first sets of people to come please let there be a pastor coordinating them and immediately you check yourself please make sure you are bold god is touching people already are you seeing miracles happening already check yourself those who are outside the moment you find that a miracle has happened please make your way to the front very very quickly do what you couldn't do you need to use the restroom do that very quickly and the lord will bless you very quickly very quickly very quickly are you ready yes sir yes sir apostle there's a miracle here go ahead please i want you to listen to these testimonies for a few minutes that we have then we'll pray over the requests yes sir very quickly this is a case of the locked shoulder since 2021 2021 yes sir but you could you couldn't move it you couldn't move it and right now right now go ahead move it move it any pain any pain completely gone in the name of jesus i decree and declare it never returns to you again by the power of the holy spirit celebrating very quickly next person very quickly all right apostle there's a miracle here yes this woman when she sits down to stand up and walk will be, become a very is she able to speak yes sir let me hear her speak speak anything english house mama go ahead i this neck is disturbing me for three years now yes i i take drugs and uh, many times i used to buy one one cart of drugs three thousand four thousand because of this leg and what but happened to you now, now mama run run mama look at this go ahead apostle there's a miracle here please this is a miracle of a sprain in the neck which a sprain in the neck which she had three days ago yes but when you gave the word yes sir about the sprain check yourself my dear every pain any pain any pain gone forever in jesus name it never returns to you again let's celebrate her very quickly yes please this is a condition of heart palpitation just help those under the anointing the power of god is still moving so you just help them go ahead sir heart palpitations heart palpitations yes he has been on drugs. are you sure Heavy drugs. gentlemen let me hear him speak have you gone to the hospital yes sir. what's your name caleb help us with the sound your name caleb, caleb. okay what was the issue like sometimes i cannot breathe well i i hardly breathe sometimes i came with my drugs you came with your drugs yes, sir. here no not here I, the place that i'm staying okay the place you're staying yes sir breathe in and out now deep breath in and out any pain oh, look at what jesus is doing in the name of jesus palpitations gone forever in the name of jesus god bless you very quickly apostle there's another miracle here yes please she has been experiencing headache severe headache and she has so many drugs so many drugs and for the headache and, and it's not working but right now she mentioned the word for healing her head is sound now she's okay there is no issue of headache again she can shake her head to show that no one go ahead shake yourself darling the power of god is on her please help her 
This is what Jesus is able to do. Go ahead, please. Apostle, another confirmation. This is the lady that you talk about when you lie down, when she lies down on one side and she will feel numbness, arthritis. She confirmed yes. it. And right now, her, her, that area is okay. Your hands, your feet. Do what you couldn't do, my dear. Any pain. Any pain. Lift your legs. You couldn't do that before. And right now, in the name of Jesus, he will never return to you again. Amen and amen. Very quickly, let's hurry up. Apostle, there is a miracle here. Yes, sir. When you were ministering, you called the case of somebody with hip pain here. Yes. Yes, there's a guy. He How has... long has it been? For several years, brother. For several years. Several. What is your name? My name is Joshua. Joshua. Joshua Patrick. Okay. What happened to you? So several years back, when I was playing, straight ball, to the point, you I were playing a, ball and I had a strain. Yes. So, so that strain makes me to have pain, reoccurring pain all the time. Okay. Like anywhere ever I am, when I there's a way I move my leg and, and I right have now. Pain. But right when you pray, I don't feel any pain again. Like I'm here. Check yourself. Yes, I'm here. Any pain? No pain. No pain. Completely. No pain. Do you play football still? I don't play football. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the pain goes away never to return again. Someone say never again. Never again. Shout it, say never again. Never again. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Yes, please. Apostle, this is a case of ulcer. Ulcer. It's like a pattern in the family. But when you started praying, she said the pain she had. Oh, I saw that lady under the anointing. Yes, that the pain checked out and went. How to many her. people have that ulcer pain? Everyone in my family has it. Everyone mother father siblings yes through my mom's side everyone has it every pattern represented here like father like son they say like mother like daughter i declare in the name of jesus by this never again anointing let it be broken forever i use her case to speak yours may not be ulcer but it may be patterns of poverty patterns of barrenness patterns of untimely death i say it again let it be broken now broken now broken now please be seated my dear i speak over you in the name of jesus because you are here we agree as the body of the lord jesus christ that an end comes to that ordeal in jesus name we pray amen god bless you i don't know how many were able just maybe we'll just select a few um and my apologies for sake of time there's a long queue and i'm not sure you are free to share the testimonies at subsequent sessions the conference still continues beyond today so let's see how we can select a few just to glorify the name of the lord because we have to pray and i do the impartation very quickly there are people whose destinies are waiting for this grace and it must land upon you tonight in the name of jesus so let's have three or four and then go ahead it's a possible this is a, a, a case of serious neck pain he neck can't pain shake, he can't shake his neck yes but at the, at the release of the word he cannot shake his neck freely in the name of jesus he will never return to you by the power of the holy spirit hold on a lady and a gentleman will shout loud under the anointing i will tell you what that means the Bible says the shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. It's a prophetic act. It's a sign and a wonder. But it's a signal that God is stepping over a family. This is what I just heard in my spirit. Sometimes God does these things. They may be supernatural, but there are messages contained in them. Therefore, I decree and declare that every family where there has been mourning, every family where there has been failure backwardness retrogression let the shout of a king be found in the midst of her let the shout of a king be found in the midst of her apostle yes sir there is a remarkable testimony please go ahead this Look how the lady is also is smiling already. She was insane. She was insane. Yes, and her classmates are here. They recognize. They know her. She came here mad. That's what I'm saying, Apostle. But now she said every symptom gone. Look at every this. Pain gone. Look at this. Every, every, everything went back to hell. Let it give up. <laughs> Hold on. What 
classmates who came with her you are a friend what happened to her sir she is my classmate she has to um this in define one semester because she was uh, she had to defy one semester yes our what five, university what school is that state university our last semester as a primary level student sociology so she had to defy the semester because she was insane because she was insane yes sir medically confirmed yes sir stand up darling what is your name give her the mic what is your name? I'm paid by name, sir. I wish you long life, good health in your ministry. I'm Amen. Sorry. Thank you. What a happy lady. What did she say her name is? I'm paid Edward, sir. What school are you? Araba State University. Walk and come back. Go right there and come back. The Bible says, Wherefore God has so highly exalted him. You see, you call that madness or whatever medical condition it is called. But the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Now imagine if Peniel was not put together. Someone shout over her, say never again. <laughs> Prophesied, say never again. Never again. In the name of Jesus. So you have missed one semester. In the name of Jesus, you will return back to school, eh? And you will do well. Come, I have a gift for you. May God bless you. Come, come, come. This is stand up. Give it to her. May God bless you. Don't go and waste it, eh? Go and meet your parents. Tell them you came for Peniel 2024. Tell your mother, your father that Jesus still delivers. Let this be your souvenir back home. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, come on Taraba, give Jesus a great hand clap. Yes. Oh, listen, sir. This lady came here with a swollen bladder. She came here with a swollen bladder. A swollen bladder that is even affecting her movement. How do you know? The inside of my bladder, the rest of my bladder. The side of your bladder is swollen. Did you go to the hospital? Yes. Yeah, Medically said, confirmed? This test said they said they did not see anything, but my bladder is swollen at the right side. And okay. My tummy is also swollen at the your right side. Your tummy is also swollen at the right side. Yes, and it's affecting my right leg to my waist. I see. What happened now? Before I started praying, the pain left. Completely. Yes. Sir. Check it now. Yes. Sir. What of the swelling? swelling. Press it. Go ahead. Any pain? Come on, Taraba. You think, thank you. For someone in the name of Jesus, this grace will be replicated in your meetings. Signs and wonders. Supernatural manifestations of the power of God. In the name of Jesus. I declare, my dear, this is over forever. In Jesus' name. How many more can we take very quickly? This is this is a case of a pattern. You know, pattern you talked about fire coming out from stones. Yes. She said she has been having that experience of fire burning in her leg, and this has been in her family. Her mother is having. Where are you from, my dear? Adama State, sir. Oh, you came from Adama State. I'm schooling. You're schooling here. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, the plague of witchcraft is broken over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let me hear that Baba's testimony. I'm seeing an elderly man. Is it all right if we have if he's been confirmed? Let me hear his testimony. Just to give honor to Jesus, I want to know what is wrong with him. I, I didn't mean all the men. Hold on, that's lift his. He came with that stick. You can walk now. Walk. Turn around. Are you celebrating Jesus? Yes, please. Yes, yes Apostle. He has a very severe hip pain. Hip pain that affects his walking. Baba, how long has this been? For the past one year, I've been extremely painful. I can't sleep in the night. 
Kai. You can't do anything. Where is Especially that? Especially this place that you pointed out. That was that was the headquarters. Check it right now. <laughs> what did he say? I'm not sure I got that. Yes, said, that was the headquarters. Headquarter. That was the headquarters. Okay, you live in the headquarters here. No, no. That the side of the heap, the, the side of the heap is the headquarters of the place. Oh, I see. <laughs> You don't mind Baba, let's celebrate him please. Let's celebrate our father. It's, it's, and, and right now, what happened to you, sir? I, check check yourself. Any pain? Are you seeing what the Lord is doing now? It's the same with him too. When you mentioned the deep condition, yes. that was exactly what he was doing. In the doing. name of Jesus, we pray. Yes, I think it's a message that yes, God sir. is visiting all men. Yes, sir. It's not just young men. So we take this as a testimony even for the elderly over Taraba, never again. Someone shout, even for the elderly in Taraba, we declare never again. Never again. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, sirs. Please, let's take one more. We we'll only give room for one more. My apologies. When we take one more, I will speak a blessing over all who have come out and then let someone lead them. They can register their testimonies and then tomorrow and all the sessions, they are liberty to testify. The most important thing is that God's people hear what the Lord has done. So do we have one more? So we go straight. We're out of time. Just any one more. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. This condition, he said he has had it since he was a child. Since he was a child, yes, sir. Which is now this is interesting. Yes, what's the condition, sir? It's like it's it works like an arthritis, it has been excruciatingly painful. For I, how long has this been, sir? Since he was a child, I was a child. Since you were a child, yes. wow, this must have been for some decades now. Yes. What happened tonight, sir? But he said, when you started praying, he said the pain checked out to hell, and now he could move. He could do what he could do. Move your move. That's how someone will move from the place of pain to a place of joy. From the place of pain to a place of joy. From the place of scarcity to a place of abundance. From a place of weakness to a place of strength. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands over the remaining testifiers. For sake of time, we are not able to take their testimonies, but we do not take for granted the mighty hand of God in the midst of his people. Go ahead. Prophesy over them, say never again. Everything you've been healed from, you remain healed from it forever. Healed forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Let's honor them as they go. Hallelujah. Can I have the prayer request? Who is yet to submit your prayer request? If you are yet to submit your prayer request, please wave it very quickly. Else, ushers, can you quickly? Please. Everyone begin to pray right now. Please begin to pray. Begin to pray. Pray in the spirit. Something is about to happen right now. The Bible says, Unto he that answers prayer, shall all flesh come why do we do this as a prophetic point of contact you've heard me say that this right here ladies and gentlemen is the most accurate representation of the desires of god's people because you wrote it by yourself most likely by hand if we prophesy we only prophesy according to the measure of grace given and because we see in part we prophesy in part but this right here is a representation of your pain, your challenges, the things that have stopped you from experiencing the fullness of God's life. Here's what the Bible says. He that told you have asked for nothing. He says, ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. How many of you want your joy to be full? When God visits your family, when God visits your children. I know that some of you are not able to drop your requests. It's not about the ritual of writing prayers and bringing it here. It's that we're submitting everything to the God of heaven. And I'm only standing here prophetically. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your hands here prophetically and just begin to pray. 
father i'm taking my never again testimony my never again testimony i cried from january till july now august that will be the last cry not for this if ever i cry let it be a cry of joy tears of joy someone who believes go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead so i'll bow my knees and i'll pray with you whilst you are praying go ahead make sure you pray let it be from the depth of your heart Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Let there be a harvest of answers. A harvest of answers. A harvest of answers. A harvest of answers. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. One more minute. Lord, step in for me. Give me a testimony. Wipe my tears. Let the glory of the Lord rise upon my life. Let it be evident that I have received my never again testimony. Jesus I want to pray over your request now father in the name of Jesus I bow my knees to you the father of glory the father of grace the Bible says that we come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain help to find grace even in time of need I present before you the petitions the needs the desires the expectations of your people the Bible says to call unto you and you will answer. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over every request here written, we declare speedy answers. Shout like believers who have the grace to receive. We declare speedy answers. Speedy answers. Speedy answers. Let impossible situations be made possible. By reason of this prayer, rise to the next level. In life and in destiny, rise to the next level. Every helper who needs to show up over your life to allow for answers to this prayer will compel them to gravitate towards your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare over someone the Egyptians you see today, you will see no more forever. Someone shout never again. Shout never again. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The grace needed for the next level of your adventure in the spirit. I stretch my hands towards you. May you carry that oil now. May you carry that anointing now. The grace for exploits, receive it. The grace for speed, let it rest on you. The grace for favor, let it rest on you. Signs and wonders, let it rest on you. Hear me, help this man. Signs and wonders, let it rest on you. Every ministry, every church here represented in the name of Jesus, fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. 
everyone in business here, I decree and declare that between now and the end of 2024, I prophesy in the name of Jesus, go forward, go forward, go forward, receive it as a prophetic word, go forward, advance by the spirit of grace, go forward, advance by the spirit of grace. I will multiply them, they will not be few. I will glorify them, they will not be small. May that be your testimony. I pray for you. Every dormant gift lying within your spirit that is yet to find expression. In the name of Jesus, I stir up that water. I stir up that water. Prophetic waters, apostolic waters, evangelistic waters. I stir up that water. Entrepreneurial waters. Be stirred up in the name of Jesus. Hear me? Any man who fights you from today goes down. I say it again. Any man who fights you from today goes down. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Everywhere I've traveled, I've prayed certain prayers over God's people because I've seen from scripture through the lives of our fathers and even through my own life that the deficiency of certain graces will cost you immensely one of the graces you need to receive is the grace that gives you access to the gift of men you are as powerful as the men that choose to support you John 5 7 how come you have been in this condition the man said Jesus asked him and the man's reply was I have no man I know where the pool is I know the miracle that happens there but my problem is I have no man in the name of Jesus every helper strategically ordained by God to show up in your life in this season in this month of august not september not october not november i'm praying only to one who has the faith to receive i declare encounter those helpers encounter those helpers encounter those helpers encounter those helpers in ministry encounter those helpers in the name of jesus christ number two hear me your gift is as powerful as those who have capacity to appreciate and reward it i used to think the only people who are blessed are gifted people it's not true you can be as gifted as you are but if you are before the wrong audience they will despise what you carry there are men of god here the anointing upon you you should be serving god's grace to the nations but for some reason you have found yourself in the midst of people who have no appreciation for what you carry this is true for businessmen hear me joseph interpreted three people's dreams same gift same grace the wine presser's dream did not promote him he remained there because the wine presser had no capacity to help him the baker he remained there but when the king dreamt he interpreted the king's dream joseph did not rise because he interpreted dreams is because he interpreted the king's dream it matters whose dream you are interpreting for some of you the grace you have can take you to the palace but kings have been dreaming but the connection to them is not there do you know that what you carry there are people who are willing to pay anything they don't know you are the one they are looking for as a man of God they don't know you are the one they are looking for as a businessman they do not know I'm, I want to speak to you listen to what I'm saying you accelerate to the degree to which men find you and appreciate the gift of God upon your life it is a terrible thing to be in the midst of people who do not have an appreciation for the investment of God upon your life the same Joseph was once in Potiphar's house 
I believe Potiphar had many dreams, but he did not consider him worthy of help. Maybe Potiphar dreamt about the mistake his wife was about to make. If he leveraged on Joseph's ability to interpret dreams, maybe he would have been helped. The king dreamt and no one could interpret the dream. And here's what the Bible says, that the king sent for Joseph, not God, the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Let me tell you something here. When you have been serving mean men, there's nothing wrong with that. The reward of kings is only found in the palace. So if you cannot gain entrance to the palace, you will never access the reward that befits your sacrifice. When God wants to help such a man, let me tell you what he does. He grants you by the spirit the discipline of refining your gift. When your gift is refined, he will start changing your audience till he positions you before people who have an appreciation for what you carry. The part of refining has happened for someone, but I want to prophesy a change of audience that in the name of Jesus Christ, after this conference, by the God of heaven who has sent me to Taraba, I decree and declare, may God place you before those who need what you carry. May God place you before those who need what you carry. May they reward you and appreciate you in every sense of the word. In the name of Jesus. I came into your land. You honored me. You received me. You were so gracious and so lavish with your honor. That's what happens when you come before a people who have discernment and an appreciation for what you carry. I'm saying this with all due respect, particularly to co-laborers in the gospel. There are many sincere people with integrity who love Jesus, but they've not been able to lift their head because there are horns that have kept them down to make sure Joseph never meets Pharaoh. Let me pray for you. Every spirit stopping Joseph from meeting Pharaoh so that he will not rise. I declare those spirits clear out of your way. Clear out of your destiny. Clear out of your way. Clear out of your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, let me tell you sincerely. One genuine helper who believes they are sent to you can be such a son of consolation you believe what i'm telling you you don't need too many people you just need the right people someone can come to your family and tell you i was sent by god to make sure you do not cry there were such people who came to apostle paul there were such people who came to jesus they are called sons of consolation their assignment is to keep your hands lifted and protect your integrity while you serve. For anyone here working in integrity, whether in business, in ministry, in career, and you've been working alone, laboring alone, nobody to rise and hold your hand. In the name of Jesus, I program the ministry of helpers over your life, over your ministry, over your destiny, over your children, over your parents. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to do something prophetic now very quickly. Please let me invite his lordship and the dear wife to come up stage. And if I can have sat your recommendation, any two other pastors, we are going to speak over Taraba. Please, let's celebrate them as they come. Okay, yes, the bishop. Is this how you honor your men of God? It's a new season for Taraba. It's a new season for Taraba. Oh, someone is not believing. It's a new season for Taraba. The meaning of that is it's a new season for your children, a new season for your ministry in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 